Tom O'Brien. Let's take a look what we got over here. This is the opening call newsletter by Basil. Now, I've said this many times before, but I will check out what he's doing when I'm posting other newsletters and all of that. Um, and it is super interesting. What another very cool thing that he does is every Saturday, he can tell you a little bit more about it. Um, but every Saturday, he releases a uh, long form video kind of going over things that he's looking at, which I think is a really uh, unique kind of offer. You come here, this is the plans that we have. Here's 149 uh, for one month, 695 for six months, and 1195 for the whole year. That is a 33.17% uh, savings. Of course, if you are a first time uh, subscriber to the service and for whatever reason it doesn't work for you, that is okay. Uh, we have a 30 day money back guarantee for all first time subscriptions. Basil, how are you doing? Hi, Jacob. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. And uh, just watching the uh, vis uh, the visit use of this market, we're I know. watching this bouncing up and down. And uh, I th I just thought you spoke about my newsletter. I don't usually talk about this, but what I do every day for subscribers, let me just drag this across, is I have an overview that's based on the Dow, but it really applies to the other indices because I talk about them. This is from yesterday. I said Dow closed down minus 248 to 37,735. And then uh, I discuss all the, the, the negatives and positives. And what I would said is that this is an inverted Chapway Roman candle. What happens in this particular technique, how the price had to uh, rally and hold very well on a certain level. And then I also said so that if holding a plus 90s or more after 1.45 p.m., uh, the chances are good that an up close uh, of an up close increases and then i tell you what will happen if there's a negative action and i also discussed that within this you can see there are a couple of uh, prices here and i spoke about this when i did Tom's show yesterday that there are a whole bunch of support chapman wave automated support and resistance levels and that the dow was at support levels on the very short term and you could and there's a technique that i use called chapman wave inside wedge target support line this dash line here said that it went right to the line yesterday and that it was a good chance that there would be an, a bounce attempt so we've got that this is alive right now we've got a little bit of a bounce going on up 163 so that's part of what i look at but this is what i thought i'd mention because i haven't gone through this with you i've spoken about it with tom and during my show uh for a long time but especially over the last week i've been saying whoops i didn't go, want to go there i want to go here um I want you to talk about this indicator that I developed years ago. It's the nine period moving average and the 14 period moving average. When the nine goes above the 14, that's positive. When it goes below the 14, that's negative. I call it my, uh, this is the technical tool of last resort because it's the one that waits the longest before it gives a confirmation of a signal. So it gave a, t a beautiful turnaround. That was around about the 27th of October in the Dow. But on the 3rd of um, November, that nine period moving average crossed positive. And look at this. It's been positive all the way through until right there. Mm -hmm. And that was on the 4th of, uh, 4th of April. I would say that's quite a few months of one technique showing you that even those dips, you could have been holding long. And look what happened here. It turned negative, And now the nine period moving average has confirmed the sell mode in the daily, not the weekly chart yet, but the daily chart of the Dow. The S&P waited, waited, waited. And then finally the other day, look from the, I think it was the 6th of November. Yep, the, the 6th of November, green nine period moving average just turned pink and remains pink. That's the first time it's done that in months and months. So I, I'm really uh, very much aware of what this indicator can do. But it is only a daily indicator. It doesn't say everything's going down. It just says on the on the shorter term chart, you start to get sell signals right across the board. The QQQ, uh, there it is. It went uh, it went pink a little bit, and then it went uh, green. Green is good. Pink is no, is negative, and now it's pink. And look mm -hmm. at this IWM. So these are the four key ind indices. Very negative right here on the daily chart, and we waited and we waited. Uh, been negative the uh, uh, the semiconductors uh, looking at it as if this t this was a top right here um, on the 7th of March and finally yesterday it turned pink and that's uh, that to me is really important to the two most important uh, indices that I'm or sectors that I'm looking at now to kind of confirm that there's 
a, a chance that, um, at least on the short term, we're starting to see a rollover is the IAI, which is the, did I hit the right? Yes, IAI is the broker-dealer uh, ETF, and that's finally turned down. So that's just saying to me, you got to be somewhat careful right now, a little bit cautious. The uh, bonds are going, the bonds are going down. The yields are going sharply high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could turn right now, but that to me says uh, you've got to be careful. So what's also fascinating is that there are some stocks that are holding well. For instance, to this morning we went long, um, we went long a Dow stock, and it's actually it's been holding very well as the markets have been pulling back the last couple of days, and that's just a good sign. It says maybe that can go even higher. But you were talking, it's fascinating, you were talking about a Microsoft just a moment ago. So Microsoft, we've been long since 338. It went all the way to 430.82 on the on 24th of March. And it's pulled back, but it's been really reluctant to pull back sharply. But it yeah. did break key support at 1416 yesterday. It dipped to the 1413 area. Mm -hmm. And today it's up a little bit. And that's just telling me that even here in the sectors that have been absolutely outstanding, there is some uh, there's some weakness creeping in, and that has to be dealt with over the coming few days. And also, fascinating enough, you I often hear you talk about uh, SDLD, which is the uh, Steel Dynamics. Yes. So Steel Dynamics made an all-time high on the 1st of April. And lo and behold, that 151.34 all-time high, the same day had a 149 round number open. And it's trading now at 140. That's um, it's just interesting to me right. that these round numbers really are quite potent. We had Nvidia, Nvidia had an all-time high of 974.00, all-time high on the 8th of March. It's trading now at 879. It's just kind of gone sideways. It's been really struggling, and then just a whole bunch. Caterpillar. I mean, can you believe Caterpillar has <laughs> a 382 all-time high? But the day before, it had a 381.00 round number high, and yet it's trading down to the 362 level. So I, there, there are a lot of indicators that I like to use, and I discuss them, as you mentioned, on, on a weekend. I have my overview. It's about an hour long, and I go through all these different points, and we've been looking at the, what, what does it mean with all these round numbers. There was a round number in arm holdings. There's been a spectacular stock in the semiconductor area, all-time high on the 12th of um, February, it, yeah, look at this. Let me just pull that down. It hits 164.00. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is at 123. So I kind of like to look at So the stock we chose today actually had a couple of round numbers at the lows. Uh, so now we're going to see if there's a chance that it can actually have a rally based on that. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to be sticking around to see that. No kidding. Yeah, arm 164.00. But wait, that's not the only ones. I mean, MSTR, uh, MicroStrategy had a 1999.99 yeah. high, but that day it also had a 1953 uh -huh. open round number and 1942, and here it is down to the 1281 level. Hmm. Well, Basil, thank you very much. Very interesting stuff to consider. Yeah. Basil, thank you so much. Guys, check out the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com and check out Basil tomorrow at 10 a.m. Right thank there. you, Jacob. Take care now. Have a great day.